channel. As you can tell from the title, we are doing a Sephora haul today. Y'all, this has been really anticipated. More so anticipated for me because I have been like dying to dig into these new makeup. Um, all this new makeup that I bought, but I was like, you need to record a video. So your girl was like, you know what, we're gonna do this video today because I'm ready to see what I got and what is hitting for, oh, for real. As you can see, I pretty much don't have much of anything on besides my brows. I did put a little concealer on just, you know, to be cute. But I'm gonna be trying on um, the stuff that I purchased. So I'm gonna be showing y'all and I'm gonna do a little, you know, try new makeup today. So let's get into it. I will say a couple of these makeup products I added are Fenty, but I did not buy them directly from Sephora. I think one of them I did, but I decided to add them anyways because um, they sell them there anyways. So. Okay, so the first thing I wanna get into is concealer, cause that will, concealer and I guess like skin prep stuff that I bought and that I'm really loving and I've actually been using it already. I cannot wait. I had to get right into it because I was actually out of concealer. That was the main reason for me buying products. So the concealers I decided to try this go around are the new Milk Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealers. So I already discarded the box, but this is them. I got two shades. For concealers, I like getting a shade that's um, close to my complexion, and then I like to get a brighter one for under eye. So the shades I got are 22NW, which I think is neutral with a more warm undertone. And then I got a 19NC, which is, I think, neutral cool. And that was for under eyes. So yeah, those I'm absolutely loving. I'm gonna show y'all everything, and then I'm just gonna just, like hop right into it. Next, um, that I've already been using is the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This spray, I love it, actually. I really do love it. It's not sticky. You really don't feel it. It's really lightweight, so love, love, love. This we're talking about concealers. So I did go ahead and buy my staple Fenty concealers as well, too. These are not new to me. They're pretty true to me. Uh, the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealers. Uh, and I use shade 30, oh, 380 and 360. Oh uh, yeah, so 360 is the under eye, 380 is like my overall complexion. These are my go-tos, definitely more of a fuller coverage than the milk. Okay, let's do powders. So I actually bought this from Sephora, I didn't get it from Fenty, even though it was on sale. It's okay. Um, which is their Instamat, um, powder which I've purchased at least twice before but I guess they have like a new I don't know if it's a new formula they just like relaunched it but it seems exactly the same as the one previously but if they did something different y'all let me know then um, another powder I bought was the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder ultra Bur blur I guess it's their new setting powder just a new formula they have for the setting powder. I want to give it a try. I got it in Translucent Honey, which I actually used in the original formula as well too. So same color. All right, so these are definitely products I haven't tried yet. I'm very excited. First, since we're on the talk of complexion, get into it, y'all. Um, Cause all the TikTok girlies have been going crazy for this. So I had to try it out. It's the Denisa Merrick Beauty Yummy Skin. It is a blurring balm powder. They say for face and eyes. Girl, I don't really know what this is, but when I tell you the girls were using it on TikTok and their skin looks so bomb. I really cannot get wait to get into this. I got it in shade seven. So next product. Okay, so these I'm very excited about. This is House Lab by Lady Gaga. I got the Power Sculpt, which is like a bronzer powder, and then I got their Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlight. Um, for this, I got Deep Levels Nine for 
the bronzer and I got the shade Sunstone for the highlight. Very excited to use these. To be honest, I've just been seeing amazing things for this brand all together and when I saw the shade range of the bronzer as well as the highlight, I had to get my hands on it. Definitely was in the market for a new bronzer powder and um, I'm hoping I got the right shade because I did buy both of these online, so a little bit of a blinder purchase. I haven't bought a highlighter or like powder in so long, but I it looked very like glass-like from what I saw, so I love that type of finish for a highlighter. Okay, next thing I got is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch. It's the liquid blush set. This is like one of their holiday sets. The main shade, like the larger one, is Encourage, and the other two are Happy and True, so. Happy has been in my cart for a really long time, so I was very excited it was included in the set. Um, they just all three were really pretty and I'm really into liquid um, blushes right now. Oh, these are all lippies. All lippies. Okay, so I did get quite a bit of lippies. Um, let's start with the Tower 28 brand because I got their, I actually have another one of their lip glosses. No, I just bought this and look at it. Almost gone. I've been loving it. I've been loving it. It gives you like that real glass gloss look so i bought two more one in this shade O as well as almond and i think they're gonna look really cute together so that's why i bought them and then next i got the gloss balm ice from fenty beauty which is really just a clear with a little blue tint that gets icy just like the icy effect and then i this is from fenty this is actually an exclusive shade from fenty beauty online they don't sell that support it's called lavender savage and this is one of their gloss bomb heat and it's like a pretty lavender color all right so now i'm about to unwrap everything get everything ready and let's dive right into it and see what this shade is hitting for okay i got my brushes right here we finna see what they talk about so one second all right y'all i got everything out of the package i got my mirror right here um so yeah let's get into this makeup first things first i just want to say baby the aesthetic on all of these packaging like mm, like we gotta really get into it because everything here is so beautifully done and i just love that but first let's start with this yummy skin y'all look at this packaging it looks like it has like a little spoon here that you could use, I guess, to get it out. So it opens like this and look. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh. I think I did a good job. I think I did really great for online. Um, again, I got this in the shade 7. So we're going to start with this because I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. I'm going to use my um, Real Technique brush. Love this one. I think this will pick up quite well on there. So let's see what happens. Just got a little bit of product here. And let's just kind of go in a little bit. First thing I'm noticing is like, baby, what's what makeup? Like what makeup? This does not look like makeup at all. Wow. This feels so lightweight. Oh my god, what kind of so <laughs> what kind of sorcery is this? Is that the word sorcery? Sorcery. Sorcery. <laughs> this is really magical. Wow, I can see what the hype is about. I mean, honestly, you could just wear this on its own and go about your business. This just gives you my skin, but better. Come on out, boogies. No boogies, please. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love that. Okay, y'all, y'all gotta get this. <laughs> it's worth the hype. I don't know, TikTok has not steered me wrong recently uh, with the cops and this one. 
get her and get her okay if you get a chance get her so next i'm gonna try the milk well not try because i've already used them but i'm gonna show you all these milk concealers like i said i got 19 and c so we're gonna start with that for under eye so i just do like a little here Um, what I like about this concealer is the um, the applicator has like a little point, so it's really good for under eye, and then it's very like kind of flat on the side, so good for just like complexion as well. Then I'm gonna go in with the 22 and W and do a little bit more um, coverage just for complexion. I usually just do it on my cheeks and then on my chin for my problem areas actually we should stop calling them problem areas because we're gonna find solutions for them okay okay we have solutions to our problems all of my problems have solutions all right i'm going to start with the under eye first i'm using my real technique brush this is it's a crease brush but i use it for under eye it blends out really nice it's super like buttery it has given me very minimal um, creasage under for under eyes. So I do like that. I would usually let it sit a little bit longer before I start. I usually put my concealer on before I actually do my eyebrows. So that's like the first step. And I let it sit while I do my eyebrows. And it just gives it a little bit more fuller coverage. And you can use that trick with any concealer if you want more fuller coverage. So I'm going to go back in with this other foundation brush just to blend out the rest of the concealer. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am loving how my skin is looking with this yummy skin. I can just really tell the difference because I'm so used to just doing the concealer on its own. So this little extra base is giving, it's giving full coverage. It's giving like glow. It's just so good. Yes, sis, you did that. And it's black owned. And we love that. We really love that. Like, we love that so much. So we are all blended out. I just like to kind of bring my brush. In the areas I don't really put anything on. Like, I don't really put makeup on my forehead. I used to highlight my forehead, but y'all forehead is big enough on its own child we do not need to highlight her she is seen she is a main star she's the main attraction of this face oh it is giving glow yes kind of glowy girls the girls love the glow okay next product we're gonna go in with is the rare beauty so these are the three different shades that it came with. This is Truth, which is like more of like a mauve, like a mauve plumish color to me. This is Happy, which is like really a fun baby doll pink. And this is the big one, which is Encourage. And Encourage to me, it looks like a more of like a mauve pink. I'm gonna go in with this one since this is the big one. I wanna make sure I like it um, because it's it's the biggest one. <laughs> Versus me maybe possibly exchanging it and getting like a large one of Happy, which I know I absolutely gonna love because it's similar to what I'm using now. But I wanna try something new. So let's, let's just see. Let's just see. It's definitely a lot darker than I would do for a blush, but let's see how this is given on a girly like me. And for blush, I used this little, um, it's a soft accent brush by Real Technique. It's like slanted. It's really good for liquid blushes or cream blushes. So let's see what this shade is giving. Oh! Oh my gosh. So y'all, y'all know the TikTok girlies love this, uh, Rare Beauty blush. I mean, I couldn't, I can't go a day without seeing it, honestly. And um, I've been kind of pressed to get my hands on it. But every time I go to Sephora, all the good shades are sold out. So for me, for blush, I like blush everywhere. So I blend it up all the way underneath my eye. Like, just like right here. Can y'all see it right here? 
and then I bring it up around. This stuff is highly pigmented, and this color is absolutely gorgeous. Yo, oh my gosh, this is not a shade I would have bought on my own. Like just um, like if I want to see it, I would buy it. But I'm so happy. I've tried it. I'm gonna bring it up across the nose. I would have never tried this shade think it would look good on me think it would probably like be washed out but what I have seen on like from these particular blushes is that all the girls can wear them like it does not matter your complexion is gonna show up as it truly is meant to look so we love that because I hate getting stuff and it like I feel like it just like washes out as soon as I put it on my face but this is giving the color <gasps> Yo, I think this might be my favorite blush. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Do you see? Yes, that is so pretty. Okay, so yes, okay, blush we absolutely love. 10 out of 10 for everything that I'm using thus far. I did good. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the um, Laura Mercier powder. And look at this new packaging. What did I tell you? The branding has been on point with everyone. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with this. The one thing I'm missing, I wanted to get one of those little like, a little triangle, like little powder puffs everyone's using for their under eye. So I bought one from Beauty Blender, the brand. And I just did not think it was worth the money I spent on this. I ended up returning it, y'all. I'm not even gonna sure. I turned I, I, I it right back. And um, I'm glad I did because I went on Amazon this morning and was able to find some like duplicate styles that have really good reviews. And they were only six dollars for like a six pack. So we gonna try them out when I get here. For now, so I just poured it in there. I'm going to use my Real Technique brush a setting brush. I love this for under eye. So just pick it up and dust. The one thing I will say is I feel like this powder is a lot lighter than the original. Like how it's covering seems like not as I feel like it doesn't have as much coverage but that's not a bad thing. I like powders that are more buildable. Sometimes when I would use this powder, I felt like I would put too much on at once. So I do like to take it and kind of set the concealer a bit. Oh shoot, we have been on blush on that. For the girls who don't do eyeshadow, it just does something, you know, it just kind of brings this monotone look that I love. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's giving pretty. It's just giving skin, like, me, but a little bit better. Next product is going to be the bronzer. So again, this is the House Lab Lady Gaga brand. the packaging for me how cute is that ah so pretty oh let's drool over it it's so pretty look at the detailing pretty mirror this is a great compact mirror use and again I got the deep level 9 I'm going to use my Fenty angled bronzer brush here and we're just going to go right in Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't really use bronzer like that, but you know, I'm about to start losing my color a bit <laughs> um, with these winter months. So I was like, let me go ahead and invest into a bronzer. And baby, this bronzer, I am shook. I am shook. Okay, this is very beautiful. It's a oh my, what the, what type of velvet bronzer? That is 
literally, I'm gonna say, is this like a gel? Cause the way it's just gliding on my skin. Okay, sorry y'all, my camera overheated in the midst of me doing my bronzer, but I just finished. And guys, this might be the best bronzer I've ever used. No kizzy, okay? This might be it, it's like this might be my go-to. This is literally like my perfect shade, so I am so excited. I did so good for all these blind purchases. Like, that's when you know you've been in the makeup game for a minute. You really do know like, what looks good on you. You really do know. Okay, so a last, well not last product, I have one more product I'm gonna be trying out, well two. <laughs> but last face product I'm gonna be using is the House Lab um, Bra not bronzer, the highlighter. And again, I got this in the shade Sunstone. Look at this, look at this freaking highlighter. Do you see this? So I'm gonna go on with a smaller highlighter. I have my, my fan brush, but I wanna do more detail highlighting. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop brush. I forgot which number it was, but I'm just gonna go right into it. I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's just giving dimension. It's just giving glow. I absolutely love it. That is pretty. Do you guys see? It like looks wet, you know? Like real highlight, highlight. Okay, little chin action. Let's do the other side. Oh, do y'all oh, do y'all see this face? Y'all, I am going. I I'm giving like I woke up like this. I'm like this is my skin. This this is what this is giving to me right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my complexion. Usually I would do like um, a powder of some sort, but I don't even feel the need to do it. I'm feeling just really pretty, just as it is right now. I do see a little creasing though. Let me just want to fix that. Okay, next step I'm gonna be doing is using the Charlotte Tilbury spray. Mm, it smells good. Love that. Y'all, I am so happy with this look. This is literally giving exactly what I wanted it to. I'm just gonna put a little mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm feeling a little naked without it. Next, we're gonna go in choose a lippy. So I'm gonna show you all the lips, but I'm only gonna be maybe probably trying one on because y'all, it's late. I'm, having, I'm going to probably go to bed after this. I'm just getting cute for this video. Uh, might take some pictures and stuff, but I ain't going nowhere on this Saturday night. But so this is the Fenty Beauty, the ice. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this blue. I just want to smell it. I don't think I'm going to try it on this one because I really want to see these color ones. Ooh, smells just like peppermint. Lovely. All right, I'm going to also open this Fenty Beauty the lavender which I don't think I'm gonna be wearing tonight either <laughs> oh so pretty y'all this will look really nice with like a um this will look really pretty with a purple liner like a dark purple yeah it's like that it's very like sheer it's not like a lot of pink or purple to it but I know exactly what's gonna be given like that you know that sheer pink look but more of like a lavender I like that I like that a lot I could probably still wear that with a brow liner actually okay so I actually want to try on both of these tower 28 because I was very excited about them I'm opening out Let's try it out Oh, it's pretty. She's pretty, y'all. She's giving center of lip with a brown liner. You know, she does what she's giving. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know the look. Y'all know the vibes. 
Okay, then I have here Almond. Oh, Almond is pr Oh, she's so pretty. She's giving can be worn on its own with a little liner. Okay, let me grab my liner. I don't know where my little, <laughs> my little brush cover went, but this is the um, Boxum Liner and Power Line. And this is the shade uh, Creamy Chocolate. I really like this liner. It's just like a brown liner. And it has a little brush on the end, so I do like that. Okay, let me wipe what I have on off. Hurt. So this is almond just this one here now I want to put a little bit of oat in the center to give it that you know that two-tone look that look that is black girls do so well so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Ooh, yes. okay told you I have a hard time now because <laughs> of my lip ring that should have been a warning lip ring I gotta have to go like that <laughs> it just doesn't feel natural to rub my lips together like I used to I think oh I'll definitely have to wear it with a liner but almond could be worn by itself so this is the lippy I'm really feeling it this is such a cute look, y'all. Like, I am so impressed. I really took no L's. No L's with any of these makeup purchases. And I'm super happy about that because, yeah, it can be so hit and miss when you're ordering shit online. Um, my most favorite product out of all of them, I will have to say, if I, it's probably going to be this yummy skin, y'all. Because this was so unexpected. Like, it was given on the internet, but in real life, it really lives up to the expectation my next favorite which is i was not expecting either is probably going to be this uh rare beauty blush and encourage even though i didn't try the other two on i am so impressed by this color it's very beautiful very neutral great for every day um i love absolutely everything else but those two really kind of stood out the most just because i was not expecting it i was not expecting it y'all um, I didn't use this in the video, but this is great if you just need um, something to touch up um, throughout the day. It has like a little thing on there, to, you know, a little press. Um, I also like to use it as a setting powder, so I would have substituted out the Laura Mercier with this on like a regular day if I'm just, you know, don't need like a, a glam look. So yeah, this is the face, y'all. This is a look um, that I've created with my purchases. So if you are interested in any of these products, um, I will try to detail them down below. But if there's any particular one that you just want to know more about, please just uh, just put a comment. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like um, and comment below if you like as well. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. I also do content in regards to mental health, self-care, beauty, lots of beauty. That is what your girl is into, lifestyle, and all in between, you know. So if you want to see more of that, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And thank you for 
for watching this video today. I love you, love yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye!